guys so I made my homemade uh, chicken corn chowder what I have in uh, a bag which I didn't add I didn't add um, fresh cooked bacon um, but I did buy um, real bacon bits that you can throw into you know your individual bowl if you want I just didn't want them getting like turning real soggy because I never used them before so yeah I used the huge pot and then just convert it into this because the big pot doesn't fit in the refrigerator but as you can see um it's very creamy it's not my chicken soup that's a broth so this is my uh, chicken corn chowder and like i said you can add the uh bacon uh individually to your bowl so it's getting nice and warm so i use fresh potatoes and the potatoes um no i'm sorry they were not from the dumpster so <laughs> nothing here was from the dumpster um this is all um actually you know what i'm lying there was a couple cans that i did get dented from the dumpster and that was at family dollar yep okay so the potatoes the fresh potatoes were from work um so then i got cans a can of uh carrot slices I use a can of cream of corn, a whole rotisserie chicken, um, a can of peas. I used one can of cream of chicken, uh, one can of cream of potato, and let me see what else did I use. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was the cream of celery. I'm drawing a total blank, but you get my gist. So, and if you want it creamier, um, what you do is you uh, add milk whatever milk you'd like um whole milk and two percent are really the best um it'll lighten it up for you so yep and what i did with the rotisserie chicken you can buy them fresh and hot and then peel that apart um but what i found out to be even cheaper is you wait until at night when they discount them so instead of paying six dollars for a hot one you pay 288 for a cold one um right near the uh Oh, what is that? Right? It's like the bakery aisle, uh, deli. So yeah, I guess you can say it's, it's uh, near the deli. So yeah, this is like fantastic. Already sampled, so it's like really good. So this is a really a large pot, as you say. And uh, yeah, so that's that. That should be warm enough shortly. Let me just turn that down to simmer. And then what I also did was I made, um, I doubled the recipe for sugar cookies. Um, these do not have, I did not add salt. My mom kept telling me, Tammy, just leave the salt out. You won't know. So that's what I did. So no salt. And this is the one that you don't have the brown sugar. So I put it um, in the fridge. So it is a solid rock. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to sit it out for a little while, let it get a little soft, then I'm going to pin roll it, and then I'm going to make, uh, find my cookie cutters, and I'm going to make hearts, and that's going to be um, what I'm taking to work to give people for Valentine's Day. So yeah, and then I could decorate it. I do have some sprinkles. I have some icing. Um, I kind of don't want to do the icing, so I think what I'm going to do is just add sprinkles um, but I just want to make it Valentine-ish, um, but definitely have to use, uh, the hearts because that was the point of doing this. So it's a, just a light sugar cookie, um, the exact same cookies that I used when I made the, um, snowflakes and they love them. So I'm going to make small hearts for everybody and put a little note and I'm bringing them in, uh, Wednesday. So yeah, cause I'm off Thursday. So, yep. So there you go, guys. Huge, huge thing of, that is two servings of dough. Let me tell you, it was really working my KitchenAid mixer, that's for sure. And then we got the soup. So, yes. I wish I could mail you guys a container full of my soup. I'll tell you, if you're sick, this is what hits the spot. There you go, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this uh, 
short clip. I may add it to some other short clip videos to make one just a little longer. I kind of like doing that, so I think I'm going to do that as well. So I know a lot of you have uh, mentioned maybe shortening my videos to like, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, that's fairly easy to do for short things like this. Um, dumpster diving, that's really hard, but I am trying to get them under 30 because um, I think the average dumpster dive video that I've been watching is between 30 and 45 minutes. So yeah, so we'll see. But uh, you guys have a fantastic night or day or whatever it is. Love you. Bye.